Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a very good day. For today's video, I'm here to do another Top 5 Wednesday and this series is created by Lainey at Ginger Reads Lainey. This series is also open to anyone who wants to participate, so I'll leave the Goodreads group link in the description box below. For this week's topic, it is your Top 5 Favorite Books You Devoured and because I love food and eating a whole lot, I'm going to connect some food related things to their book counterparts. So let's get started. Starting off with Sweet, a book I devoured that was super sweet. I'll have to give it to Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I absolutely adore this book. I think I'll be rereading it like now because it is summertime. I need a summer-ish kind of read and I think that would be a perfect book because I absolutely adore the setting. It's set in Paris. We have an awesome romantic interest who is Etienne St. Clair which is perfect because if you combine his you know first name and last name together it's like a Claire which I can just eat all the time, all the time. I love pastries. I love the story. I thought there was a great sense of humor throughout the book. It was definitely a quick, lovely read. So next we have Salty, and I'm going to have to give it to Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn, a book I recently finished, and I actually really enjoy the read, so look forward to my book review on that. You know, I love, love the chips. You know, you just can't eat one. It's full of flavor, and it'll give you, you know, high blood pressure, and I think Gone Girl does this. The book is divided into three parts. We have Crazy, Crazier, and Crazy craziest. What I really liked about Gone Girl was the writing. I thought the writing style and how the plot was structured uh, flowed really well so I was able to read it actually quite quickly. I can understand why it's being turned into a film. The trailer looks fantastic. Next we have Filling and a series that definitely filled me up and was definitely satisfying was the Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. Absolutely adore this series if you don't know. There's a lot of different themes going on. We have really great characters. I thought the writing style was very different. It really lent itself to the world building which is fantastic and I absolutely adored each and every book. The first, second, and third book that doesn't usually happen for me. There's always that one book that was kind of wah 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 or the third book wasn't very satisfying but I thought the entire trilogy was on point. Next guys we have comfort food. I absolutely adore comfort food. Who doesn't? No one. So we have Comfort Food, which is familiar and satisfying also. And I would have to give it to Fangirl by Rainbow Rell. The story and characters were definitely very familiar to me. I cried, you know, that doesn't happen. You know, I actually haven't done the eat cry. You know, when you cry. <laughs> and you eat at the same time. That's never happened to me. Yeah, the e-cry. Anyways, so everything about this story was very familiar and comforting and feel good and I loved it. And lastly guys, there's the buffet and there's so many different things you can choose from and it's like overwhelming at first. But you become familiar with the spread and what's available and I would have to give it to A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. I think it's definitely buffet style. There's definitely a lot of things going on. We have action adventure. We have very young characters and very old characters. There's a lot of themes going on and it's very complex. There's definitely a lot to digest but it's so good. So those are five things I can definitely devour. You know that's just the tip of the iceberg people. Anyways guys that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what five bucks would you connect with sweet, salty, filling, comfort food, and buffet style. Anyways guys I will talk to you later and have a very good one. Bye!